Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Today I have my empties for the second half of December to show you. And if you watched my first video, I talked about my, um, or maybe it was in a separate video. It was my December challenge. I wanted to get through the majority of my Christmas scents outside of Bath and Body Works candles that I've chopped up. And I think some Sassy Girl Aroma or Glitterati, at least some random ones. But the majority of my wax I wanted to use up that was like holiday scented. I do have random repeats and, you know, some scents that I'm fine with carrying over because I didn't want to go too wild. And I'm trying to put my hair back as I'm talking. It's not working very well. So uh, you can refer back to that video to everything that I had in my challenge. I think I did pretty well. I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, there were a couple things I forgot to put in that video that you might see in here and I'll try and remember um, like this was one of them but I never got to it it's a glitterati marshmallow fireside piece that I'm hoarding because it smells so good I think it's like marshmallow fireside but with something added like French vanilla or something that makes it so much richer but I never got to that I am gonna melt that this winter but that was just in my bag of things to try and melt but I never did so um, yeah, I think what I will do is go through everything that I used up and then I'll show you what's left. I pretty much stuck to that melting basket, that challenge, other than a couple like nighttime blends. So I'm going to get right into it so I don't ramble. Let's go. Um, okay, let me just rearrange myself so I'm just a little bit closer here you might see my foot down in the corner I've got my fuzzy socks on um all right I finished two of the Sonoma Woodland Pine these were I think my mom purchased these and then gave some to my sister and some to myself because she just doesn't melt as often as she'd like to so she passed them along to me um I like this scent. It's just a classic pine scent. I used it for melting on its own and for blending to make something a little more Christmassy or just to try and use it up. Um, it had a great throw. It is one that I would recommend. I'm not going to repurchase it because I don't like straight pine scents. I like them blended, but they did pretty well. There's a third one that I didn't finish, but I will show you that once I get to things that I didn't finish since I know a lot of people like to see just the stuff that's empty, first of all. Okay, sticking with the Sonoma brand, there's the Balsam and Oak. This actually had a very poor throw. I wouldn't recommend this. It was a nice scent. I, there's definitely, I think, sandalwood in that. That makes it smoother, but it does smell like a balsam pine Christmas tree scent with a little bit of woodsiness and then something that to tone it down so it's not so sharp, and I think it's sandalwood. But yeah, it, it just had such a poor throw. I thought, oh, I'll melt that with the woodland pine and make it a little bit more like a Christmas tree woodsiness scent but it really just made the whole overall scent lighter which is too bad and then I melted it on its own and it, it just didn't do well I don't recommend it that's all I have to say about that all right a couple ones from the bathing garden I have frosted fruitcake which smelled great um not a super strong throw but appropriate for uh like a kitchen, smaller kitchen, a bedroom, an office, you know, like a smaller space. It didn't have a super far throw, but if you were in the room, you could smell it. And it did smell like a fruitcake. It was, I thought it was really nice. I love this scent though. I love the scent of fruitcake. So, um, I did like that one. I'm not going to repurchase it. And, well, I, I would maybe repurchase it far 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 down the road when I have way less wax than I have now because I just I just feel overwhelmed with what I have and then I have Jack's Apple Frost this one I wouldn't repurchase even though it had a better throw this is like a minty green apple scent I'm sure there's other scent notes that are in there um I I did like it but I'm just it's just not something that I want to repurchase it's a nice refreshing minty not strong peppermint though it's more like a fresh eucalyptus mint 
it's just like a cool outdoor air mixed with green apple. So I'm not going to spend too much more time on that. It, it smelled really good. It's just I'm got to be really picky about things that I would repurchase again. I'd have to really like them. And then I finished from Sassy Girl Aroma um, this Cookies and Cocoa for Santa. This didn't really smell like cookies to me. On cold it did, but it smells mostly like a hot cocoa scent. And it's just too bad because I smell the bakery on cold, but it's really just a hot cocoa scent. And I'm sick of hot cocoa scents, but that one was nice if you like just hot cocoa. But for being called Cookies and Cocoa, that was disappointing. It did not have a bakery note. And so, therefore, I would just pick a scent that's just straight up cocoa if that's what you want. Otherwise, I would try and get a different blend that maybe has more bakery um, oils in it. That's just my opinion. But the thrill was good. Um, and this was Under the Mistletoe. I did really like this. I think I talked about both of these in the beginning half of the month. And then I finished them now. This is just like a nice mistletoe greenery, that sweetness. If you don't know what mistletoe smells like, it's kind of like your Christmas tree pine scent, but there's like a sweetness to it, almost like citrus or berry, something that makes it sweeter. I think, I don't know, I'm not really good at describing it, but that's what it smells like to me. And this smelled wonderful and it's too bad it was not as strong as I hoped it would be. I wanted it to like blow me away. Um, it was an appropriate, appropriate throw. It wasn't like super light, but not as much as I wanted it to be. <coughs> Excuse me. I finished this, which was not part of my challenge, but I added it. Marshmallow candy cane because I just recently hauled this. I don't even know if I posted my haul video yet, but I bought this from Walmart's marshmallow candy cane. And this to me, I wanted to try it because people were raving about it. It smells like kind of like a twisted peppermint scent from Bath and Body Works. And it's not the same, but it's pretty close. That same vibe, that same general peppermint vanilla candy cane scent. I love Twisted Peppermint from Bath & Body Works, but I don't know. This was just like, okay, it smells good. Um, that's fine. Let's move on. I would rather get like a Twisted Peppermint dupe or chop up a Bath & Body Works candle and melt that instead. Um, and the thing about this was it was strong at first and then it faded really quickly. So it didn't have long, a long longevity. Wait, do I even need to say long? It didn't have longevity. And... Um, so I would not repurchase that, believe it or not. I love peppermint scents, but I wouldn't waste my time on it. From Super Tarts, I have two clams. I have Abominable, which is mistletoe, buttermint candies, and vanilla bean champagne. I love this scent. This is really good, and it has a good throw. I have one more clamshell of this, so I don't need to go purchase any more of it anytime soon, but I do really like it. I think it's a great scent. Um, it's a great winter scent, let alone like a Christmas scent. good it's like a sweet vanilla I don't know if it's I would say like vanilla bean champagne but there is something like almost fizzy or effervescent or just fresh it's like a fresh vanilla mint and there's like the tiniest hint of like that mistletoe but barely just enough to make it like a little Christmassy a little more wintry um, I really like that it had yeah a great thrill lasted a really long time very fresh if you're looking for something to just freshen up but still be a wintry scent, that one's great. I recommend it. And I will continue to repurchase that. Um, Grandma's House is in the other Super Tarts clam I used up. And this one, the scent description is way too small for me to read it in front of the camera. This says fresh baked apple pie, chestnuts roasting on an open fire, and creamy brown sugar. I think I would melted one cube of this, and so I had the rest of it to finish. Um, and... I really love this scent, but man, it's, is it light? It was really light. I don't remember it being that light the first time I melted it, but I think the first time I melted it, I didn't expect to like it, and I think I melted it in my bathroom, which is where scents go to, like, test out or to die, um, you know, if I don't think I'm going to like it, because I can always close the bathroom door and <laughs> just let it live its life in there. And, you know, or I can just dump it out and at least it's only still staying strong, like, in the bathroom. It hasn't, like, ruined the atmosphere of everywhere else. But, yeah, you get, you get that apple pie, kind of like a nuttiness. 
sweetness from maybe brown sugar. It's just, it's light. Uh, I don't think I'm going to repurchase it. I don't think I'm going to do it. And then I have a marshmallow fireside from Simo Wax Melts. This is just awesome. This is, this smells so much like marshmallow, uh, marshmallow fireside from Bath and Body Works. It's like a exact dupe. It's awesome. Very strong. It lasts a really long time. I was very happy with this. I used it up. I do have more of this and I would repurchase this definitely. If you're looking for a dupe and you don't want to like chop up Bath and Body Works candles of Marshmallow Fireside, which I definitely recommend doing, buy one and chop it up. But if you don't want to and you want like already made wax melts, buy them from Simo. They're very affordable and um, you know it's a strong dupe and I'm telling you that is a dupe. Okay, I'm surprised how fast I'm going. This video isn't going to be that long. Um, okay, I've got some Goose Creek melts that I finished. This is the Christmas cookies, which I talked about in my first first half of the month. And this just sucked. It smelled like plastic, vanilla. I mean, at first you get like a kind of a sugar cookie, artificial sugar cookie. You're like, oh, that kind of smells good a little bit. Wait, nope, it's turning into plastic and then now it's gone. So, nope, I don't recommend that. And then the other one that I was really disappointed in was Welcome Frosty. I hope I have better luck with the rest of these Goose Creek melts. This was not good. I think in the scent description, this is supposed to have like peach. It smells like chemical wax. It smells so plasticky. So plasticky. I just, I'm just disappointed in it. It's just so bad. It smells so bad. <laughs> and it didn't smell like anything when you're melting it. So definitely don't waste your money on that. I'm telling you, don't even take the chance. Don't think maybe my, my house is going to be different. No, it won't. You're wasting your money. It's bad. All right. I finished some Bath and Body Works melts. I had two hot cocoa and cream. I'm so sick of hot cocoa. I'm sick of it. I can't do it anymore. I got a hot cocoa thing going right now. And I'm just like, oh, I can't. I don't want to, I don't want to do it anymore. Um, I'm, I'm done for <laughs> hot cocoa for all. The thing is, I love this candle. I love this scent in a candle. But I don't know if I just overdid it on hot cocoa. I know I wanted to melt, or not melt, burn my hot cocoa, and one of my hot cocoa and cream candles. I do have one chopped up into melts. I can save that for, you know, melting a little bit each year so I don't need to buy any more hot cocoa scents. But I wanted to burn one of my candles because I really, really liked it when I burned it a couple years ago, last year, the year before. I don't remember. Um, but I'm just, I don't want to start it and then be sick of it and have it, like, tainted because I am just so sick of hot cocoa. But these were actually, I feel like they smell different than the candle, first of all. And I also think that they are much lighter because I would put, first of all, they're four melts. So you would think you'd just use one of these little cubes. No, that's not enough. At least not for me. I would put a half in and even that was light and it would fade. I'm telling you, it was like a bathroom melt or a small room melt. And I ended up putting the, the other half in. So when I was melting these, I was melting the whole thing, which is just too bad. That's too expensive. They're $4.50. Now, I got them 75% off, and I'm sure I used a coupon, so I probably got them for dirt cheap, like a dollar each, but I would not spend the money that they retail those for. No way. And then I also have champagne toast that I finished. I melted this close to New Year's. What is it today? January 2nd or 3rd? And this scent's nice. It's, eh, people go crazy for this scent. It's not that great. It doesn't smell too much like champagne to me. I mean, in this container on cold, it does. But you don't get like a fizziness that I would want, like an effervescence. I don't get that. And it kind of just smells like lemon, lime, orange fruit snacks to me when I'm melting it. So it's not a favorite. It's not one I'm going to repurchase. I wouldn't buy this in a candle either, believe it or not. So that's that's a no-go for me it did have a good throw though way better throw than hot cocoa and cream so if you like that scent and you want to try it in melts buy it 75 percent off or when you have a coupon or something if you're desperate for it in melts i would highly recommend just buying a candle and chopping that up that's gonna be way more cost effective for you um than getting 0.97 ounces oh my god for 450 
or you can buy a 14.5 ounce candle and chop that up. I do have videos um, of how I chop up my candles. People ask me all the time. It's really hard for me to respond in the comments how I chop them up because it's it just takes forever for me to type it out. It's a process. But I do have videos that you could watch. And I, I recently did chop up like, oh God, how many candles? 22, 24. I chopped up a lot of candles um, on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. It was a two-day process for me. And um, it was so much work. Oh, I, I just need a break from chopping up candles. I wanted to film it, but boy, there's no way. I mean, it was it took me forever. Anyway, I'm getting off track. I have some Kringle Melts um, Christmas, which I think I only had a half left. Oh my gosh, my foot's falling asleep. This is not good. Blech. Okay. Um, I had a half melt of this left, I believe. This is such a good scent. This is one of my favorite Christmas scents, if not my favorite Christmas scent. Oh, it's so good, so good, so good. The smells, it's just, it's nostalgic. It's a nostalgic scent to me. It smells like Christmas in the 80s and 90s. I can like see my brothers and sisters as kids. I can see us like opening up presents on Christmas morning. Going to my grandparents' house, just, ugh, I love it. It's so good. I would buy this in a candle from Kringle, but I really should just buy it in melts because I don't burn very often and so I should just probably not buy it in a candle. Plus the melts, that melt is so strong that I'm, I didn't think it was going to be because I didn't remember and I put the half, the whole half, whatever, um, that I had left in the melter and it was so strong that I actually needed to tone it down with something. I can't remember what I did. Mm, I don't remember what I melted with it. Otherwise, I would tell you. But I needed something to tone it down after a while. Because, man, that thing blew me away. Super strong. Highly recommend. If you want to try Kringle, which I also do recommend. Um, because they have some really nice scents. Definitely get yourself a Christmas melt. I feel like you'll thank me if you like Christmas scents. The other one, which I'm actually finishing right now. So this is technically I didn't not part of my challenge that I completed. But I'm melting the other half of this. Is this. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> couldn't do any more peppermint cocoa scents, but I'm doing it right now. So this is peppermint cocoa from Kringle. Ah. It's peppermint and it's cocoa, but I'm just so sick of hot cocoa that I, I, I feel like I shouldn't be too harsh on this. It's a great peppermint cocoa scent with a very strong throw, surprisingly. I know people have had been, it's been like hit or miss for Kringle melts for a lot of people, but um, this worked really well for me. So that was good. And I think that's everything that I finished. So I have some stuff that I did not finish. And this is the remainder of my my challenge that's left, you guys. Real, really quickly, I will show you. Um, yeah. I think I'll... Well, do you want to see what's left in my challenge? And then I, have, I just have three clamshells outside of that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So I have... Aunt Gale, which is from Super Tarts. This is rain, mistletoe, cranberry, catnip, and mint. It's not exactly Christmassy. I mean, it is kind of because of the mistletoe. Um, I only melted one cube of this. There was one missing already, and I melted one. It's more fresh. The rain in it is like makes this scent like soapy, shower gel, fresh, great for the bathroom, great for a kitchen if you want to clean the air, but it has this shower gel vibe for me. Every rain scent that she, or anytime rain is in something, it smells like shampoo or shower gel to me. Um, like that soapy, what am I trying to think of? There's a word that I'm trying to think of. I can't think of it, obviously. But yeah, so this just, I, I need to melt this in my bathroom, but it's so strong, man. It just blows you away. I feel like I need to take the cube and chop it in half and I'm too lazy for that for some reason. So I just like procrastinate on melting that, but that is left. I do want to finish that before winter's over. I think I still can. It's not too like Christmassy. I can still do it and it will be like a fresh green clean shower gel. A Christmas tree shower gel scent? I don't know. And then I have Hagrid, which is 
what are you? Shaving cream and tinsel. And tinsel is mixed berries, vanilla, peppermint, and pomegranate. And this is mostly a shaving cream scent. So this is also great for like freshening up a room, um, the bathroom, definitely. So I think that these two will be bathroom melts for me for the remainder of winter because I don't want to hang on to them. I want to keep, keep going with them. Um, and then I have Woodland Pine again from Sonoma. This is the third one that I had of this. I didn't finish it completely. There are three cubes left and I do want to finish this as well. I don't want to hang on to it. Um, if I didn't have other Christmas scents that I just chopped up in candles from Bath and Body Works, like I'm all set on fall, winter. I don't need any fall or winter wax from vendors. So I probably won't be purchasing any, I mean, fall, I don't think... I don't know if you'll ever see me <laughs> buying fall wax again because the candles that I have, I really like the scents and there's so much of it. I mean, 14.5 ounces of each scent from the candle. And then I have other fall scents from other vendors still that I'm okay with hanging on to. And then I did really poorly with my challenge because it was, there was so much fall wax. I just don't need to buy anymore. So I won't be doing that. And then as far as Christmas scents go, it's the same thing. I have to Christmas like pine and woodsy tree scents, Christmas scents from Bath and Body Works. So I don't need to purchase anymore. So I, yeah, otherwise I would hang on to these three cubes. Like, oh, I'll save this for next Christmas because I'm not afraid that it's going to, I've had it for a while. I'm not afraid it's going to lose its scent. It's pretty strong. But so anyway, my whole point is I'm going to try and get through those last three cubes for winter. And then the very last one was Elf Morning Blend. And I think this is it. And I think I only melted one cube of it. This is super, super strong. And it's it's a hot chocolate coffee scent, primarily coffee. It's like super intense, hot, um, hot, hot coffee. Super intensely strong coffee. Oh, I love that. It's like skunky, just strong coffee bean with like chocolate and mint, a chocolate mint latte or something. It smells like you're walking into Starbucks when they make their peppermint cocos and all the holiday blend scents. Very, very good, but I have to be in the mood for that. And because it's so strong, yeah, I just, yeah, I have to be in the mood for it. So I just sucked at getting through that because I don't melt coffee scents very often. Every time I had a chance because I had three of these clamshells, I found myself melting these and trying to get through these more than this. So I will, you know, there's only four cubes left. So that's four individual days. You only need one cube. You could probably get away with like a half a cube or a fourth of a cube. Who knows? Um, you can probably pinch your way through that. But those are the only ones left in my wax ch winter wax challenge that I think I have. I'm pretty sure I had like a pomegranate cider scent. And I think I showed it in my winter challenge, but then I realized it was not supposed to be my winter challenge. It was supposed to be my fall challenge. And I don't know how it got in there. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. Um, now other things that I melted outside of that, that were be bedtime melts were, um, sleepy beauty from super tarts, which is lavender cream, rose jam and birthday cake. And I got through two cubes of this clamshell. This is just a nighttime melt. I love this scent. I have a Bam bag of that and maybe a couple other clamshells. I'm not sure. Um, I do really like it. It's one that you can get sick of, I think, pretty quickly. So you have to do it sparingly. And then go to sleep, which is pink sugar and her lavender cream. And I got through three cubes of this. I have quite a few clamshells of this and a big pan. So I do not need any more of that scent. Um... So yes, that's a nice bedtime scent as well. And I melt these in my centerpiece warmer, put it on nine hours and go to sleep. So it is still on when I wake up and lingers around for a while. And yeah, and then the scent I melted on like New Year's Eve was this vanilla bean champagne and strawberries. I was going to melt this and I didn't think it was would last very long. And then I wanted to go to my destination wax, like vanilla sugar champagne that I melted last New Year's Eve. But boy, this like lasted two or three days in my bedroom with the warmer on. Now, I only melt it when I'm awake and not at night because I go to my centerpiece warmer for the bedtime melts. But during the day, this thing lasted forever. And I felt bad dumping it out when I could still smell it. I felt wasteful. Um, but this was so strong. And I loved this at first, but I didn't like it as much this 
second time around. I think it was just because I was waiting for it to be done. But it was a little too strawberry-ish to me. I almost wanted more vanilla or fizziness to this. And I know I have one or two more clamshells. So I like the scent. But I think I like some of the other scents a little bit more. Like the other, I really like that vanilla bean champagne. Um, so that is that. I'm going to try and get that all in frame. So that is everything that I melted. Um, it doesn't seem like a lot, but at the same time, I feel so accomplished because I feel like I did really well on that challenge. It was a feasible amount. I mean, there were times where I was looking and I'm like, I'm not going to get through this. And when I got close down to these last four, I was like, I can do this. I can do this. But I just ran out of days and I wanted to melt something different on New Year's Eve. And I wanted to melt my nighttime melts instead of like this that night or, you know, that type of thing. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Now, moving forward, I do have a plan for January of what I'm going to do. So I'll do a separate video where I show things that I definitely want to use up in January where my focus is going to be. <coughs> Excuse me. And then obviously I'm going to continue on with these and some of my fall melts. So I will show you guys those in another video, like I just said. So um, again, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'd love to know what you got through for Christmas. If you did a challenge, how did you do? Um, are you proud of me? I hope you're proud of me. I'm so proud of myself. I did not think I was going to do very well. And now I'm just rambling. So I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year, by the way. 2019 is going to be great for us, you guys. I feel it. It's going to be a good year for me. 2018 was kind of crap. I paid off a lot of debt, um, student loans, and I paid credit cards off and bought a car and did a bunch of stuff. But really, I'm trying to pay off my student loans. So I'm, my goal is to do that in the next three months. And uh, if I buckle down and not buy wax, I think I can do it. I don't know why I haven't done it sooner, but 2019 is going to be good for us. If you have a resolution, leave it down below. I'd love to hear it. I've got my resolutions, my, well, my goals, really, not just resolutions. But again, I'm rambling. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.